The international techno park of IT startups Asana Hub is one of the largest digital projects implemented in Kazakhstan. Among the main tasks of this business platform is the formation of a domestic startup ecosystem and business support at all stages of its life, from the inception of an idea to the introduction of foreign markets. Hello, my name is Sarah Akishev, and this is the program The World of Startups. Today, the state program, Digital Kazakhstan, is being implemented in the country. Its tasks include the development of such areas as the digital state, human capital, e-economy, telecommunications infrastructure, and, most importantly, the innovation ecosystem where new ideas will emerge. The key role in shaping the latter sphere was assigned to the international technopark of IT startups Asana Hub, which achieved solid results in nine months of its work. For this relatively short period in the development of the ecosystem, we have achieved quite good results in general. Today, our startups have already attracted more than a billion tinge of investments. The Business Angles Association has been created on the basis of the Asana Hub. These are our businessmen and individuals who help to develop startups. Recently, Asana Hub celebrated its housewarming. It moved to a new spacious office on Mangilik Yil Avenue, Expo Pavilion C4.6. Here, on the area of 10,000 square meters, there are 15 laboratories, as well as many co-working platforms and small conference areas. In general, all conditions were created to make it convenient for entrepreneurs to build their business. In the near future, we plan to launch the adjacent pavilion C4.5, which will give us the opportunity to expand our startup programs to open a number of educational directions. We want to create some kind of funnel that will allow us to attract all startups here, where they can receive all the preferences that exist here and give everyone the opportunity to grow. Today in the techno park, there are four lines of startup teams. They go through an acceleration and intensive training system. They will have 200 hours of training from international experts, 240 hours of individual consultations with industry experts, investment sessions with business angles and venture funds. By the way, the selection criteria for incubation is minimal. The first thing the project must have is a minimum payable product or a prototype as well as some sales. This is necessary in order to make a start during acceleration program, which lasts only three months. During the acceleration program, professional coaches work with projects using international techniques from Silicon Valley, such as Steve Blank's founder's book, as well as Lean Startup. They train startups, find their problems, and increase their sales. Talgat Ayapov is the head of the Kids Security Mobile Application Development Company, which helps parents know exactly where their children are and come to the rescue in case of danger. During the passage of acceleration, the startup studied the basics of entrepreneurship and found answers to many questions. We launched our project in December 2018. This is the first prototype that works on Android and iOS platforms. We now have 3,000 registered active users. While we are working in Kazakhstan, but in the future, we plan to enter the CIS market. At the heart of the application, there are two functions, monitoring the movement of an object on an interactive map and its soundtrack. That is, you can not only see where a person is, but also hear what he is doing. For a more complete picture, in the smartphone, you can set the exact route of the child's movements from point A to point B. And if he goes beyond the set limits, a warning signal will come to the parents. Now, the task is also to go to the regions. That is, we will train for six months and train everyone for free. Also now, the task is to create a program, online mentoring. It is aimed at projects that do not have the opportunity to come to us in Asana Hub and show your product. We do this for a program that will help them work remotely through an online call. Until the end of 2019, there will be two more acceleration programs here. 
They will help the International Techno Park to become the locomotive of the development of the startup ecosystem of Kazakhstan. In addition, these events will make their own contribution to achieving the global goal, which the Asana Hub designated as follows, to attract 67 billion tingye of investments into its projects by 2022. Google allocates 1 billion U.S. dollars for the construction of a residential area in the San Francisco Bay Area. According to the CEO of the cooperation, Sundar Pichai, this will solve one of the most pressing problems of the region, the lack of quality housing. In the next 10 years, the technology giant intends to redirect $750 million from the maintenance of office and commercial premises for the construction of 15,000 houses. The company will spend another $250 million to create an investment fund that will sponsor the development of San Francisco. Hewlett Packard buys the creator of Cray Supercomputers for $1 billion, 300 million U.S. dollars. The new asset will allow the cooperation to increase its customer base at the expense of government agencies, which make up 80% of Cray's client portfolio. The deal is scheduled for the first quarter of 2020. If it comes through, it will be a bailout from the default for an innovative computer developer since its net loss in the first quarter of 2019 was $29 million. The modern business environment is very dynamic. Successful business management and prompt, accurate and informed decisions require effective management accounting. It would be impossible to achieve it without new technologies that allow you to dump all the routine tasks on the shoulders of the computer. Such a burden for the machine is not at all serious, even if we are talking about the chaotic data of the rental housing market. Smart Success Platform has been developed at the International Techno Park of IT Startups Astana. It allows you to remotely rent apartments and online to track their status. According to the founders of the company, the service will greatly facilitate the life of landlords. It will make their work more efficient and safer. Kazakhstan is not a big market compared to others. But still, here you can earn money. You can see for yourself how many people rent apartments, how many hotels, resorts and other organizations work for us. And these are all our customers. The system consists of two parts. The first is a so-called iron, a smart lock. Startup founders order it from trusted suppliers from Europe and Asia. The second part is a mobile application, which Kazakh programmers themselves have developed from scratch. When a user enters our application, he sees a list of his apartments. In addition, he can go into each apartment and see the statements, make a temporary key, select the beginning and end of his work. After that, the system generates a certain PIN code, which the landlord can send to his clients via SMS or via instant messengers. The application is based on crypto encryption, that is, on the conversion of information that makes it unreadable to outsiders. It is important to obtain data and access codes because they are not stored on the company's servers but on the locks themselves. From the outside, we have a socket where you can insert a PIN code. Only after we have entered a PIN code, it scrolls. And as soon as the time has expired, the panel stops scrolling. Thus, the PIN unlocks the system for a certain time. Monetization of the project is carried out in two directions. The first is the sale of a smart lock for 65,000 tingia per share. And the second model of earnings is a monthly subscription, the cost of which depends on many factors. But more often, it varies from 3 to 7,000 tingia per month. The first market we consider in the first place is the CIS market, since we are working there and are all well acquainted with it. This is a big market. According to open data, 250,000 apartments. 
With our monetization at $20 per apartment, the market volume is $50 million a year. In the future, the functional part of the platform will be significantly upgraded. It will have new features such as online payment, digital rental agreement, synchronization with online booking sites, and much more. My name is Azhat Zirgazin. I am the founder of the service for checking counterparties Compra.kz and I will now tell you about three mobile applications that help me to be effective every day. The first is called Droop. This is such a thing that unites all instant messengers. All contacts so that you can go from contact to contact with one click and make a call, text on WhatsApp, Telegram or write a letter. In addition, in this application, you can schedule calls for a specific time and get a reminder. Another cool thing is that Droop shows unfamiliar numbers if someone else has it recorded. The second application is Tick Tick. This is something like a to-do list, which helps to quickly mark the planned work. Plus, there you can build subtasks, set deadlines and various tags that help you keep track of what you spend the most time on. And the last application is Pocket. It helps to collect various links from sites and social networks that you can't see right now, but you want to postpone it in order to use it later in your work. Any startup needs money like a person needs oxygen. Since in the early stages, financial problems are the biggest headache of all novice businessmen. And even if they have an incredibly cool idea, very few investors will agree to be the first. That is why the Asana Hub faces such an ambitious and difficult task as attracting primary investments. Kazakhstan Social and Legal Service Antidol.kz which has passed a program of accelerated development based on the international technopark of IT startups Asana Hub, has attracted investments in the amount of 75 million tenge. These funds will be used to refine the unique software, scaling the business to neighboring markets, as well as to increase the staff which specializes in resolving conflicts between debtors on microcredit loans and creditors. Companies that issue online microloans violate the National Bank's effective interest rates regulations, which should not exceed 56% per annum. And if you count by the day, it is 0.27%. Loan companies comply with this percentage at the time of the contract. That is, if the client took a loan for 30 days, during this period they comply with the law. And later, when the client goes into delay, they already overestimate the percentage. Since the launch, more than 3,000 Kazakhstanis have turned here to resolve conflict issues. For the most part, the domestic company helped make positive decisions. Thus, for six months of work, the service has saved 32 million tenge for its customers. Unfortunately, there are many potential users because now every second or third person has online loans. At the moment, we receive about 100 applications per day and if you count, you will see that we process a lot of applications every day. Legal platform services cost from 40 to 120,000 tenge. For the convenience of customers, pre- and post-pay on the 50-50 principle are introduced here. The founders of the startup guarantee protection against collectors for these tools. That is, calls, threats, letters for work, salary deduction are covered by the project lawyers. Our clients can contact us in several ways. Go to our website and leave a request. You can also contact us through Instagram. It is possible to call directly to the center. Well, in the case when customers leave a request on the site, then it automatically falls into the CRM system, where applications are distributed to managers. And those, in turn, begin to ring up customers and identify their needs.
today, the company's founders are discussing the possibility of bringing social legal services to the Russian market. In this direction, several proposals have already been received. And no wonder. If Kazakhstani market for loans is estimated at about 200 billion tenge, in Russia, it is 10 times more. Kazakhstani startup GUL, which brings together large flower sellers and buyers in one place, has attracted investments in the amount of 50,000 US dollars. These funds will help the company to strengthen marketing and start entering other markets with an annual volume of $1 billion. Today, more than 160 flower shops have already connected to the domestic marketplace in Nur Sultan and Almaty. The application is available for both iOS and Android users. On the crowdfunding platform Kickstarter, a campaign was launched to raise funds for the development of the Kazakhstan computer game War Tide Wars. The peculiarity of this project is that it combines different genres, strategy and action from the third person as well as from the first. The game will immerse users in the fascinating world and allow you to go from the Neolithic to the Space Age. The development of levels, characters and 3D architecture of the world are engaged in domestic developers. Over time, an international team of animators, artists, game designers and programmers will join the project. Tourism is one of the highly profitable branches of the global economy. According to the World Tourism Organization, this area forms 9% of global GDP and 6% of world exports. In addition, it is in this industry that every 11th new workplace is created. The International Technopark Asana Hub pays a special attention to tourism as a separate economic area. TourCenter.KZ is a universal tourist tool developed from scratch by Kazakhstan startups, Algidras Rakauskas and Ainur Nusibekova. Here, in one place, hundreds of various tours around Kazakhstan are collected, which can be bought in just two clicks. Last year alone, over 30,000 clients visited the site. If we take the market of arriving tourists from five countries, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Azerbaijan, Kyrgyzstan, and Georgia, who come to buy excursions to consume entertainment, in total, there are 23 million of them. I'm not talking about the total amount of tourists entering. I'm talking about those who are interested in tourism. That is, if we cover only a quarter, it is already about 6 million users who could potentially be our clients. The principle of operation of the supermarket tours does not differ from global booking systems. However, it was much more difficult to systematize the motley Kazakhstan market with its sanatoriums, rest homes, sleeping places, than to unify the number of rooms of foreign hotels. Having visited the site, a tourist can use various filters to find the tour he needs. These are such filters, for example, by price, by type of rest, extreme, fishing, quests, and others. Also, there you can read the comments, see reviews, ratings, and buy your favorite tour, paying online instantly with your card. In addition, visitors to the web resource can use the search for travel companions in order to find like-minded people who can join him on a trip. Thus, you can save on logistics and pay together. In the future, we will have a new version of the site. We want to make more advanced customization of tours so that tours can change the tour to suit their tastes. For example, include some kind of food, a vegetarian menu. But if, of course, the operator will provide such opportunities. In addition, it will be possible to raise the level of your stay from three stars to four and so on. According to the founders, today their business has reached a stage where it can be scaled outside of Kazakhstan. And in this direction, there are already first results. Tour operators of Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and Georgia are ready to connect to the platform. We earn base on an agent scheme, that is, when a tourist buys a tour and in fact a sale occurs, the money goes to the tour operator. They, in turn, give us a commission for the work done, for the advertising that we make. The size of the commission is fixed at 13%, we take 10% of them and the remaining 3% is a fee for online payment. 
startups plan two ways of development. The first is to get two hundred thousand dollars of investment and spend it on marketing and improving the platform. The second plan is to master the countries that are on the new Silk Road as much as possible with borrowed funds. The latter option implies a merger of sale of domestic marketplace tours of one of the core cooperations. Asana Hub has a special global mission to become a center for the development of innovative projects that will attract young and talented IT specialists from around the world. And for this, as you already understood, all conditions have been created at the International Technology Park for IT startups. My name is Sarek Akishev, and this was the program, The World of Startups.